Hey guys, welcome to this review and walkthrough of the new Tarot of the Abyss. I'm really excited to take a look at this deck. I did flip through it a little bit to take a look at the guidebook. Um, I got it from US Games. It was very affordable and the artwork is just absolutely beautiful. Very nice box. Upside down, of course. There's the guidebook. It also came with a bookmark, which is nice. Okay, here is the back. Let's get into the deck. dark when you get some lights. There we go. I always forget to turn that light on. Here we have the fool. Magician. I love how it still has like the um, as above, so below, with like the roots coming out of his head and his the trunk, his legs. High Priestess. Empress. Emperor. The wise one. The lovers. How beautiful. Two trees, but they're so entwined together. It's beautiful. The chariot. Strength. The hermit. It's interesting that she's holding a snake. Snakes are all about change, um, rebirth, shedding the old, bring in for the new. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. That is so striking. You can see there's the balance in her eyes. The hanged one. It's almost like you're the hanged one, so you're seeing this in their perspective. It's really cool. Death. T. 
temperance. Water and fire coming together to create something beautiful. The devil. The tower. Hear my kitty cat Binks playing in the background. Star. The moon. The sun. Awakening. This looks like she's shedding, like shedding her skin, skin, like a snake with the feathers, wings, like a fallen angel, or like a phoenix. That's beautiful. The world. Ace of Swords. Swords are always about like thoughts. So it's really cool that you could see kind of what's going on in her, her mind a bit with her house birds and little person there. That's really cool. Oh, and look at the sword. There's an eye. It's really neat. Two of swords. What mask are you going to wear today? What do you not be, or who are you not being truthful with? Interesting. Three of Swords. The bird is her heart, and she's letting go, maybe letting go of the grief. Oh, there's two Three of Swords. Oh, I really love this one. Because with of Swords being about thoughts, this really plays into the, um, could the, the pain be something that you're causing yourself? The negative things you're thinking about or, or it's really, really interesting. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Hmm. Let's be sad. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. It's definitely all about nightmares, which is very fitting. This pick is so beautiful. Ten of swords. Hmm. Two ten of swords. 
So is this person coming to help or or hurt? Looks like there's he's holding maybe a, another knife in his hand. Betrayal. This one, it's more of like staring down the pain. It's really interesting. The Page of Swords. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Oh, I love this. So here she's learning, here she's taking more action, getting growth, definitely growth, coming into herself, oh that's amazing, tells a story that's beautiful, oh this deck, I can just feel it, it's going to be absolutely incredible incredible to work with. I feel already like I'm getting to know myself more just flipping through this deck. It's absolutely wonderful. Let me just fix these up. Ace of Wands. Shake it. Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. The Four. Celebration. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. These have to be one of my absolute favorite court cards because like you can just really see what's going on. It's much more readable. It's so wonderful. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. King of Wands. And we have the Cups. Ace of Cups. Oh. Two of Cups. Again, it's like it's from your perspective. That's really great. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. head out of the clouds time to make decisions it's really great eight of cups nine of cups
Ten of Cups. The Page of Cups. Night. Queen of Cups. The King of Cups. And we're on to Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. That's really cool. It's like all hope is lost, but she sees that there's help. So sometimes going to someone who can either help you or knows where you can go to get help. It's beautiful. Six of Cups. Oh, did I say cups? <laughs> Pentacles, sorry. Seven of Pentacles. Hard work. Making your money. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. That is so beautiful. Building a life with someone. The stairs are connecting. Tree with the roof. That's absolutely beautiful. Passing down a legacy, maybe. This looks like old hands and maybe some younger hands, like a, a mother-daughter. Beautiful. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And King of Pentacles. So, so gorgeous. Let's this a bit. going to fly out the nine of swords and see what guidebook has to say about the nine of swords where I think the swords were the first uh, so 
get in there. There we go. Oh, 10. Oh yeah, there's because there's two tens. I have decisions to make. This is the card of nightmares and unfounded fears. We all have been there struggling to deal with the anxieties that bubble up unrelentingly from our subconscious. Our nightmares can leave us so terrified that we are afraid to go back to sleep. Even worse, we may actually start to believe that there is some truth in them. Is it a warning perhaps? The Nine of Swords depicts that moment when we are imprisoned within our dream world, a world so vivid that we actually believe it to be real. Yet we all know that the woman will awaken and realize that it was simply a bad dream. She is in no real danger and she still has ample opportunity to shape her reality in the here and now. Are you feeling worried or overwhelmed? Drawing the Nine of Swords tells you that you're making yourself sick with worry. Your thoughts are whirling around you, provoking anxiety and destroying your resting hours. While the Three of Swords represents ex external sorrow, the Nine of Stor Swords speaks of the internal despair. Imagining the worst is not the way to go. Our fears are very often unfounded, and even if they have a basis in reality, Worry and anxiety only compound the situation, making a solution more elusive. Seek stillness, discover your inner peace through prayer and meditation, and take one moment at a time. Really nice. Here's a close up if you don't need it of the backs. Yeah, I am really really excited about this deck it is just absolutely beautiful oh yeah slides smooth Ooh. okay well Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.